lastly, let's review bulk defects or three-dimensional defects. These most of the time are due to faults in the forming process. Most of the time they are unwelcome. For example, if you're doing casting and you get a little bit of sand stuck in your molten metal, this is an occlusion and is generally damaging to the part. Uh, you can get the same thing if you get you know, volumes of pores in your molten metal or ceramic. Uh, for example, we form ceramics by taking a ceramic uh, compact of powders and pushing it together. We can get voids if we don't get the ceramics to fully uh, densify when we center them together. These are defects. They, from three-dimensional bulk defects, can form in other circumstances as well. Uh, for example, they can be caused by radiation damage. They can be caused by severe plastic deformation. So if we take a part and you know we're you know, working it a lot, the dislocations can move back and forth. They can get caught on each other and pin each other, and that can lead to the formation of internal damage. There are a very, very few situations in which we are intentionally creating these uh, type of defects. Uh, and one is, for example, if we are making a composite, it might be that we're intentionally implanting uh, a second material in a, in a matrix. Uh, another example is if perhaps we're making a, a foam of some sort and we're intentionally putting bubbles in this. Uh, and then we do that, for example, in refractory bricks used in furnaces. Those are extremely porous, so we want the pores in, in the brick. Uh, and lastly, I talked about this in class a little bit, the idea of uh, the smart cut technology. And that uh, is a technique developed by IBM in which they have a, a semiconducting uh, chunk or slab of material and they're embedding helium gas into the surface. And by controlling the uh, voltage that they're implanting this helium into the surface, they get pores of helium which uh, collect together and you can get very thin sections that pop off the surface. Uh, but aside from that, I, I'm not aware of other uh, similar uh, technologies. So, thank you.